movements throughout this cycle of struggle have been um, criticized in by journalists and politicians for not having a program. I mean, the, so in some ways, this this functions at the at the level of political leadership. They have nobody who's speaking for them. They have no leaders we can talk to on the camera, etc. It's also those functions at a political level in sense in the sense of demand. You know, like what do these people want? What are they for? And there's a, in some ways, it's at least opaque to the journalists. So the, it, what you get is you get, and I assume this is true in Slovenia too, but unfortunately, I don't read the Slovenian press. Um, Elsewhere, what it comes, uh, comes for, it's, you either get two things. One is these people make no sense because they have all these different things going on. You know, uh, elsewhere, like in the U.S., you know, for instance, it might be against uh, the question of debts, the question of something for housing, but then you would also have uh, uh, gay and lesbian rights and all kinds of other things that then the journalists throw up their hands because they don't get. Or, um, or the other thing is that then there, that there's no explicit articulation that then could be addressed by the politicians, etc. And I think there's two aspects of this, um, or at least it strikes me. The first is, like the things, like like 10 years ago during the uh, ultra-globalization movement, when the same demands were made, it's in some ways false because I think there's, there's a, it's not only that there are no concrete demands, there's a surplus of concrete demands. And I assume there are here too. Um, it's not that there aren't, there aren't anything that, in, that, that, that people are demanding. In fact, that, that there are many more than could be addressed. But I think what's really at issue here is that the kinds of demands that are being made don't fit in to the recognizable, um, in, the, in the recognizable slots or, or um, boxes that the journalists and politicians can understand. Like, I liked one of the, one of the slogans from from Argentina 10 years ago during the more or less insurrection during the economic crisis was that our dreams can't fit into your ballot boxes. In other words, that the, that the demands we're making are, are in fact always excessive, uh, always spill over what could possibly fit within the current system of, of, of responses. So that for instance, that that critique of representation, you know, that, that's, that's not just against one politician or the other, not just against one party or the other, but against the entire uh, pretext of, of representation, that's one of those things that spills over that can't be recognized as a demand because it's in fact a real demand, a, re a demand much too large to be, to be satisfied. Um, and that's what I see, it's that kind of um, excess, I guess, that seems to be one of the strengths and, um, and real radical importance of this and the other movements as part of it.